Ultra video para ti oi. I want to make this quick video showing you how I'm going to reset the laptop mouse pad. This mouse pad right here, it seems to act strange. It's either the operating system, this is an old Dell Vostro 1000, has Windows Vista Business COA sticker. I loaded Vista Business. Yeah, there's other problems. It could be the operating system, but we shall see. So, some laptops are easier than others to take apart. This one I took the took the battery out already. It's a good battery. It charges with a different charger. I need to order a a replacement charger, but that's another issue. But this is a pretty decent laptop actually. On the bottom, as you can see. This isn't an easier, well, you'd have to take all all these screws and take, up, take off this plastic under casing. The trackpad is right here, but there's really no way to get to it, as you can see. I mean, it's right there, but there's no screws. This is actually the battery, oops, this is actually the battery compartment, and I don't necessarily want to mess with it. I mean, there's really no screws. This is plastic. It's all one piece. It doesn't really... I don't even think it comes out yet. You'd have to take this entire apparatus out, the undercarriage. So what I did was I found that you can take the laptop battery, excuse me, the keyboard. Hold on a second. I have to try to do this with one hand. You can take the keyboard out, and then you can unhook the connection to the trackpad. Well, it's actually, I think, well, I think it's the, both. It might be both trackpad, mouse pad, but whenever it comes out of hibernation, the mouse just goes nuts. It just is possessed, and it goes all over the place. Well, this is a recycled computer, and everything else is good about it, and I'm going to resell it. I get a lot of recycled computers, and a high percentage of them are still good. So what you do is a lot of Dells and other computer manufacturers, even this HP, you notice on this HP right here, you've got this piece of plastic with the power, etc. And it's running Derek's boot nuke and should be done today. A lot of times they come out, but you, you need to make sure that they come out without screws. You know what I'm saying? But generally, these are one plastic piece that snaps out. Dells are much easier, from my experiences, because they you notice how they have this little... Let's see, I'll make sure I get it on camera. You notice how they have this little recession there? That's so that you can stick a, like a screwdriver. Although be careful with these metal ones because if you, if you don't do it right and you miss, you can then scratch the screen. So you have to be careful. I wouldn't recommend metal ones. I had a plastic one. Let me get this on camera. A screwdriver, flathead. I had a plastic one for taking off screens like Android screens but it snapped off and th that's not good I can't even use it now I broke off when I tried to use it so it might have been cheap when I got it for free anyways so you just pry it open and that's about it you also want to lay the the screen flat as possible and then you just push pull up now the first time it might and and don't just necessarily rip it apart be, generally these aren't screwed down but it'll it'll come out as you can see and this a lot of times these are the power button and so you don't want to break them all right so we'll set that aside and then this screwdriver this laptop only has two screws one there so I only needed two tools, and then that one is loosened, and then we will unscrew that one, and then I'm going to take this keyboard out. Another thing you need to be aware of, not all laptops are the same, even Dells. Some Dells are screwed down on the underside, I'll show you. Underneath, sometimes they're screwed in, so that's why you need to look at the back of the laptop and just 
because you don't want to pull out the try to pull out the keyboard when it's screwed in on the underside this one is not now sometimes there, you notice how this marking right here you see the little hard drive that tells you that this is a screw for the hard drive there's symbols this one is a lock I don't see any any laptop it'll look like a little laptop a lot of IBM's are screwed down even other Dell's it'll be a symbol like that only it'll kinda look like a keyboard that means that you unscrew that sometimes they're even underneath other compartments this is where the RAM is sometimes the screw holding down the keyboard is underneath this and you have to take this out well you don't have to worry about it in this one this one it's not screwed down so we'll flip it back over and then now you have to be careful with the keyboard because especially laptop keys they're easy they're so easy to break off they'll, they'll fly off and there's no guarantee that you'll be able to put them back down be aware of that if you don't know if it doesn't snap back in there's kits but kits aren't always reliable a lot of times you have to order an entirely replacement keyboard so this keyboard actually comes out and what you do is you have to be careful try to pull it out or push up and then kinda of pull out at the same time uh, it's the right hand side if you just what you can do is take this and just kinda of try to it's hard with only one hand you know what I'm saying alright so I'm gonna I almost have it it's pretty much done I just have to pull it from this side there it comes right out now you also want to be careful you don't want to just rip it out because the keyboard is connected to the motherboard with a ribbon cable but this one we know isn't screwed down because of how easy it came came out there's the ribbon cable for the keyboard I don't want to necessarily disconnect that because it works the keyboard works just fine so there's there's no need for me to mess around with the cable connection so let me try to there see how it's the cable is right there to the motherboard but there's no need for me to take it apart now this is the connector right here there's the CMOS battery to the, for this device right here now sometimes these have multiple connections Sometimes the trackpad has one connection to the motherboard, and sometimes the mouse pads have one. This one, instead of, otherwise I'd have to unscrew the bottom, take the bottom out. I'd have to take this all around. You see this whole piece? This is one piece right here. I'd have to take that off. I don't feel like doing that, but it's possible there's another connection underneath here. But I'm going to just, for now, I'm going to try this. You just pull it out. Now sometimes they have little swivels. You notice how this one has a swivel? You would pull on it. You see how it swiveled up? Let's see if I can get that on camera. I don't know if you can tell. And then you pressed down on it. Yeah, see the swivel? This one didn't, but sometimes they do. This one you just you just, it just slides back in. This is a different type, but there's different types. Just make sure it's it's level and it looks like just the way it was. And then we're just going to put the keyboard back. Sometimes just reseating cables will solve problems, issues like that. Hard drives, especially IDE hard drives, even SATA drives. Once in a while I just reseat the hard drive and it rectifies that problem. If you want to save money, or even in a corporate environment, I used to do that when I worked for corporations and even the government. I would just get a ticket, and what I would do is, the first thing I would do was reseat the hard drive, and it would last for, eh, sometimes it was more permanent. Other times, the same end user would come back every once a month or every few weeks. That could be an indication that the hard drive is starting to fail, or maybe there's a problem with the laptop. But it just depends on the person. Sometimes they didn't mind. Or... They would learn, I would show them how to do it, and they do it on their own. And then they wouldn't mind doing that. But that's an old trick. Reseeding, reseeding cables. And then you just snap it back down. This is the power. So this is an important piece. Now some 
computers, the power also has a connector. I guess I could have showed you that. I don't have one. So you need to be just be careful. You need to be aware. You might want to Google first, but so it just depends on the computer model and the type of power button. But there was a what was kind of, oh, I have a Samsung behind me. Here, I'm, uh, it's not taken apart. Well, I'll, hold on a second. I'll show tell you what I'm talking about. It's very important because you don't want to mess the power buttons out. I've got an, another t laptop here I've got that I was working on that I couldn't rectify. You notice how the power button right there? This is actually connected with those little cables to the motherboard. So this is a different type of power. It's not only a button, but it actually plugs into the motherboard. And I had to order one, a replacement one because it, it was soldered. And on one end, the solder broke off. So I, you know, and a lot of times these cables are, they're so short that they're just barely short, just barely enough to connect. I don't know why they do that with these cables, but it's, oh, that's a compact. My bad. That was a compact. All right, so there's the power. I'm not going to demonstrate because I'd have to boot it up. And the battery's not all already charged. But I just want to let you know, this is an older Dell Volstro 1000. If I fucked it up, this was a recycled computer, but I've been working on computers for years. And, you know, when it comes to a customer computer, obviously you don't want to mess it up. But, you know, this... But this is a, it's a Dell, but I didn't have to unscrew the keyboard. And it, it wasn't really that difficult to come out. Two screws, and then this piece. A lot of times these pieces do, on, on a lot of different computers, they do just snap off. And But the Dells make it convenient because it's just, they have a little slot right there for a screwdriver. For You know, look. So it's almost as if they, anyways, talking too much. Adiós.